Hello everyone and welcome back to our blind let's play of Chrono Cross for the PlayStation 1. I am the Futless Bird and this is your story based gaming channel. And we're going to go around to different places. We're going to start here at the Hermit's Hideaway. Because the uh, the area to the right, the uh, Island of the Damned, there's like these mirror things there that make it so I can't really explore it very well. So we're going to come here first and check around to see if anything's here. If you remember, uh, last time we were here, we fought Harl, but that was in the other world. Uh, you'll see that our party has not changed. We still got Draggy and uh, Norse. Norse is a really cool character. Very strong yellow element to user based on what I've seen. And Draggy is just an adorable cute dragon who seems pretty strong, actually. Um, let's go inside here. Is that Razzly? It's Razzly! Oh my gosh, we found Razzly! Teehee, this place is fun! That's all she says though. Is This isn't our Razzly though, is it? I thought it's our Razzly. If it's our Razzly, what is she doing here? And why can't we like, talk to her? Found a resistance ring. Cool. Probably increase the resistance. Razzly, can you like, join my party again? I really liked you. I guess not. So we did find Razzly here, although I don't know how that helps us at the moment. But it is something to uh, put a pin in. And maybe later on, uh, that will be more apparent. Now part of me wants to go straight to the ship. The, uh, the SS Zelbis. The cruise ship. But we're not going to. We're going to wait on that one. Um, let's go to the Earth Dragon Isle. I believe they said that something was... Um, Something was on Sky Dragon Island, I think? The captain told me our next exploration site would be safer without any threat of monsters. But look at this place. All you got here is a heap of sand, rocks, and all the time in the world. Perhaps it would have been more experiment if I had joined the Marble team. Boy, is it hot. Why the heck do we have to explore Desert Island? Ah, uh, because the Desert Island can have a lot of... Hey guys, that's quicksand over there. Step in there, you'll never see this light of day again. Well, can we actually do that? We, we can actually do that. I kind of wanted to talk to everyone first, but... Oh well, down we go. What are they, crazy? I want them too. Dang it, darn amateurs. Just for the record, I'm not an amateur, I'm just very, very stubborn. Oh, look at where we're at. Ah, uh, shoot. It already... I, I wasn't ready for this. It already, like, spun us to the left. Ah, oh, I wanted to go in that cave. Darn it. Oh, here's a chest. We found a mithril. Okay, it's good to know there's a cave up there to the top left. And there's also these guys. And I probably don't want to mess with these guys. Because if, um... If going through... Uh... Hello? Ah, uh, what is this thing? We can't get through with this in the way? Cannot we just push this thing out of the way? I guess not. Ah, uh, the thing won't budge. I don't think the three of us can move it either. We should probably head back up for now. There is no use staying here. Okay, so Earth Dragon Isle is a basically a dud as well. Um, there is a chest there though, and there was also a what looked like a cavern over to the left. So we need to explore the cavern to the left, and we wanna do we wanna try to attack that guy for the chest? He's probably gonna kick our butt. Hi, right, we're back. Are you guys all right? I thought you were gone, for sure. Yeah, uh, I knew that this was here. So the quicksand is the entrance and the sample is exit. Now, why couldn't I figure that out? Because you're not very brave. So there was something blocking the pathway, you say? Okay, let's take care of it. It may take some time now. Let's see now. I need to assign some men to investigate and prepare explosives to move that rock. Would you mind coming back in a little while? We have some preparations to do. 
Thanks a lot for your help. All right, yeah, sure, why not? Um, seems like uh, coming here actually did something then. Although we were told just to come back later. I still can't believe the quicksand was the entrance. Well, I guess I chose it's often difficult to see what's right in, right, right in front of your eyes. Ha ha, I get it. Because Lynx's is Surge. Ha ha ha. Did you just come out of here out of curiosity? I guess you're one of us. Ha ha. Don't tell me you're here seeking the powers of the sleeping dragon. You really didn't believe in that stuff. Actually, the place is known as Earth Dragon Isle, but as you can see, there's nothing but sand. Well, we have a friendly dragon friend with us. So dragons definitely exist. We also saw the fire dragon in the other area. Kind of getting stuck. I still don't know how to explore that, um, that bottom area. I need to figure that out someday. Okay, so shall we go to uh, Goldove? I don't see why not, because our next quest was to Marbule. So going here is not going to trigger anything. Uh, hello. Ever since the merchant ships arrived, my shop is being put out of business. Why are outsiders so cold against us demi-humans? But in terms of passion for work, I won't lose anyone. Yeah, that's the spirit. Uh, what do you have? Forge. You can make mithril and silver. Yeah, you can make silver and mithril, but you can't make, um, you can't make, uh, the other item we got. What was it called? Uh, denodorite. We got, go ahead and get a mithril glove here, because apparently that will help drag you out a lot. Um, he also doesn't have any mithril mail on? Thought we had that. Thanks a lot. You give me some confidence. Go on. I'll do my best. Yeah, you do that. Always be true to yourself, my friend. Let's go to equipment here. Did I forget to uh, equip you? Throw a glove. Get a mail. Can't believe I forgot to equip my dragon friend. Um, silver loop. And I really want protection against anti-red. And finally, we'll give uh, Draggy a magic ring. Cool. Uh, you do have elements equipped, right? I can't do this. There we go. Yes, you do. All right, cool. We've only gotten one summon so far. This place has been getting a lot of visitors lately. I don't know that that's beneficial for the village, though. Oh, if you have any elements you don't need, I'll trade you for materials. Ah, let's see what you got. Um, okay, so we have everything except humor. Apparently we're not very funny. Ha uh ha, -huh. okay, I'll stop now. Uh, let's go ahead and get some humor. Should be pretty easy to do. Um, we have a lot of elements. Just get one. You have a pretty good collection. Still, you'd be better off just trading those unneeded ones rather than keeping them. I know, but I, I need to make sure we're trading them for things that we need and not just getting rid of stuff, just get rid of stuff. Oh, it's a doctor. Uh, medical science has its limits. I did not have the power to save her. Dang it. Uh, hello? Okay, you're gonna say that same thing over and over? Uh, we're sorry. We can only allow family members on the patient into the break back room. Please understand. Wait, who's sick? I'm afraid her family has already passed away. I'm sorry for troubling you. You're not re even related. So who is it? I don't know. Do we gotta bring like a specific party member here in order for that to work? It's kind of hard to tell. Oh, hello there. Boss too lazy. Me demi-human, but not strong. Boss not have enough guts. Phew. I'm all worn out. God, he works like a madman. How can he keep it up? Does he ever rest? Ah, he's a strong dude. Get over here. Hello? Nothing beats beholding the spectacle of the sea. How magnificent you are, the Sea of El Nido. The beauty of that is nature in the sea, the inherited lores of the Dragon God. How inspiring. But such a world will someday be washed away by the waves of time to disappear forever. Time does wash away everything, doesn't it? It's the only thing that no one in this world can buy more of, and that's time. 
So hey, if you're watching this video, thank you for giving up your time to do that. Um, I, I hope you have some fun with this. Say, have you heard? An ancient Dragonian artifact called the Dragon Tear is enshrined somewhere in this village. That sounds exciting. I mean, even Dragon jumped up for that one. It's really a Dragonian artifact. Then it's an ancient treasure. It could be as valuable as the rumored frozen flame. That might be an overstatement, but in any case, I'd love to see the Dragon Tear at least once. Ah, uh, hello? Hello? Far east from here, there's an area called the Dead Sea that's covered by thick clouds all year long. The strange thing about it is that there's no way in. Poisonous coral surrounds the whole area. I almost said corral. Uh, hello? Orcha. Yo, it's a mighty small shop. If I need a great place to kick back. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, okay, you're gonna say the same thing? Can I actually talk to you from this side? I guess it doesn't matter. Orcha will say the same thing that Orcha says. Time to go up. And I guess we'll go to the left first and then we'll cut over to the right since we know there is only the uh, the one tent over here. Oh, I forgot about the zip line. Uh, for lecture on this, see my big brother. He's uh, at the residential tower. Please come back when you're done. You, halt. Judging by your appearance, you are foreign born? For reasons we will not explain, foreigners are not allowed to enter the tower. Please leave the premises at once. Oh, that's so lame. Guess we can't come here. You know, they give you a lot of freedom to explore a lot of different places, but there's very little advantages to doing so, it seems. But well, we did get draggy. Uh, we're not well stocked compared to the city, but we have some rare elements. Okay, well, let me see what rare elements you actually have, or if these are just common. Uh, recover all? That's kind of rare. Let me get a couple of those. 99. Only if innate color red. Temporarily keeps hit percent of basic attacks at 99%. Huh. <clears throat> huh. Detects your opponent's HP data. Temporarily nullifies foe's physical attacks. Temporarily nullifies foe's magic attacks. You know, these do seem pretty powerful. Let me buy just one of each of these. Um, seal all. Temporarily stops everyone's elements. Huh. Temporarily halves elemental damage. Shifts your status effects onto enemy. Okay. I, I will say you did have a bunch of rare elements. I just don't know how to use them. Uh, your child is onto you. Have you guys heard the story of the star fragment? Uh, no, what is that? The sea near Triplet Isles. Locals call it the El Nido Triangle. In that area, you can find pretty star-shaped stones. That's why they're called star fragments. It doesn't have much value other than being pretty, but I believe it brings good luck to its bearers. That's why I'm carrying one around like this. Going off the subject, the El Nido Triangle is a strange place. If you go a little underwater, there's a layer of air where you can actually walk around like, just like on land. You'd be surprised. Huh. That area is a famous spot where a fallen star is supposed to have landed. It's rumored that there is a layer of air at the bottom of the ocean as a side effect from its crash. El Nido has a lot of mysterious things lying around. It's where they talk about crash, almost like a star came from down from the sky. We will have to explore that, for sure. I believe the El Nido triangle was uh, glowing last time we went there, right? Hello. Oh, who might Chap be? One of Korcha's friends? Strange, I don't recognize your faces. Huh, I always remember all his friends who come here, but... Oh well, no use wondering about such stuff. Cha-cha-cha. It's a small house, but feel free feel right at home. My son's upstairs if you need him. Alright, let's go see how to Korcha. Oh, this is the other Korcha, right? Huh, who are you guys? Don't chat. Go walking into other people's homes without permission. Huh? Serge? I don't know anyone by that name. Never mind. There's nothing else. Then get out of here. Yeah, like I said, this is not the courtship we know. This is the courtship from um, um, the home world. Uh, the courtship we met was in the other world. However, Razley was a, was someone that we met um, in home world. There's a paper on the ground with some writing on it. Once again, mashing X everywhere pays off. I'm not in right now. If you need me for something, don't bother looking for me, Mel. Huh. 
Okay, I guess smashing out doesn't really pay off. Anything down here? Nope. I guess not. Alright, well, uh, I guess this is all that we're gonna find in Guldove. Eh? Now, we did find some, um, interesting elements for sure. We did find a story about something crashing into the El Nido Triangle. Uh, do you know what these wires are for? If you don't know, I'll teach you for a special price. Uh, that's okay, I already know. Uh, do you really know? That's kind of fishy. Oh, well, if you already know, that'll make things easier. So what's it gonna be? You're talking to me because you want to do it, right? Of course I do. It'll be 10 gold advance. Pay 10 gold. Hey, hey, thanks. Whee! Oh, wait. Okay, ready. Have a safe flight. Now we can go. Whee! How does Dragon do this? Does Dragon just, like, fly down? I mean, these, these things need to be answered, right? These questions need to be answered. And the game's like, nah, it's just gonna appear next to you. And I'll be like, alright. Maintain your ship, maintain your pride. Goldovey Boys Club. Okay, that's fine. Let's board a boat. So where are we going next? We could go to the uh, Sky Dragon Isle. We could go to... I, I kind of want to go to El Nido Triangle, to be honest. Because... I mean, it's glowing for crying out loud. And it seems like there is something here. So let us go into the depths. Go in? Yes, absolutely. And let's hope we don't die a very horrible death. Alright, it looks like there's puffer fish here. You know, Dragon down here kind of looks like Nemo. Clownfish? Because he's yellow? Okay, so we're avoiding the fish so far, which ain't a bad idea. I have no idea how strong these fish are, and I really don't want to get my butt whooped right now. Good, good, good. Climbing down. Okay, right or left? I always like to say left is right, so let's start by going left. And this is taking us all the way around. Whoa! Almost got hit by that clownfish. Oh, Link's found another mithril. That's a shame. Why are we finding so much mithril all of a sudden? Can't we find denodorite? Because that would be uh, much better for the future. Okay, it looks like we're going to have to fight those fish. Yeah. I mean, they're, they're right in the middle. Kind of hard to avoid. That is a lot of fish. How many fish is that? That's two groups. And they're called schoolmates. They are blue. So why don't we get Draggy over here? Wow. Draggy bringing the damage. Now, do we want to do Volcano or do we want to do Cough Mix? Let's do Cough Mix first. That is adorable. And very powerful, actually. But these fish didn't seem to really slow down from that. There we go. We got one fish. Uh, Norris, take over. Good shooting. Draggy? Why don't you do your tier 3 now so we can see what that looks like. Oh, that's cool. Very nice. So it looks like these enemies are not as threatening as uh, the ones we fought in the, in the tower. Draggy got HP up. Cool. And we found a mithril in scale. More mithril. Although I really don't want to have to fight like all four of these enemies here. If we don't have to. So let's try to get to the chest without aggroing everything in the area. Link's found a star fragment. Hmm. What do we do with the star fragment? Alright. Alright. Yeah, these guys aren't so bad. Uh, Draggy? I really want to see what Volcano looks like. Volcano.
Oh, that's cool. Especially since it's doing it underwater. Oh, that did so much damage. I am a huge fan of that spell now. Or just any level 7 spells, I guess. Link's once again showing why I should not play XCOM. Good shot, Norris. Norris has some power to him, too. This is a really strong party. Dragon with another HP. You know, it might actually be smart just, well, I was going to say it might actually be smart to clear these guys out just to get Draggy's uh, stats up. But the bottom line is I can't really do anything but fight these guys because, I mean, they're kind of blocking my way. Good damage. Very nice. Ow, that looks painful. Did 96 damage. Yeah, that was painful. Uh, so which one hurts more? I think Volcano actually does hurt a little more. I mean, it makes sense. Volcano is a level 6 spell. And Cough Drop is a level 5. I don't know. Good shot, Lynx. Norris, you want to take over? So the reason I took over with uh, Norris there is... Whoa! Whoa! That's not fair! You don't get a double attack like that? Cheater? I do want to see what Thunderstorm looks like, by the way. But I'm also saving my element so that we can cure uh, Draggy. Because Draggy got torn up in that fight. Nothing from that, unfortunately. But we are fully healed. Can I move yet? Or am I still stuck? I'm, I can move. Cool. This is a really peaceful place. So we got a star fragment. And... What do we do with the star fragment? I do not know. Let's go ahead and fight these fish. Just to see if Dragon can get that... Um, can get that really cool level up. Where you get like more than just HP. Um, Norris, I want you to start this one because I want to see what Thunderous Storm looks like. Thank you for not missing because now I can see what this looks like. Whoa! Wow! That was amazing! That was awesome! I approve! These level 6 spells are... They're incredible. They don't take long- I mean, that's one of the cool things about them too, is they don't take long to cast. You know, they're pretty fast to cast, they do a lot of damage. Uh, the battle keeps going, or I should say the, um, you know, you don't really stop for the battles or whatever. Uh, I really love Grandia. Like, really love Grandia. It was such a fun game, and I enjoyed the heck out of it. And if you have not seen Grandia, um, go watch it, uh, and just be amazed by how beautiful of a game it is. Uh, but I will say one thing about Grandia is, sometimes you cast a spell... And you kind of don't want to cast a spell because the cast time animation takes so long. And, you know, it just kind of slows things down um, sometimes. I still casted a ton of spells in game as much as possible because I love the spells and they were beautiful to watch and absolutely amazing. But it did kind of slow things down a bit. Okay, we just went through El Nido Triangle and... We were at Goldove. So if we continue to go left, we should go to Sky Dragon Isle. And we were told that there's something at Sky Dragon Isle. Um, the Water Dragon Isle, we probably don't need to go to. Although it would be nice to go there to figure out what's up with um, Razzly. Uh, we have Marbule. Um, actually, let's, uh, let's go to the Isle of the Damned. I know this is an absolute horrible idea, 
and I am saving for a reason because I think this is an absolute horrible idea. But we'll see what it's like. Um, I'm gonna. The, the, the area itself locks you out pretty quickly due to those, like, ice walls. There is an enemy guarding that cave. Wait, we sh should be able to go down here, right? Anything down here? No. So it looks like if we want to go to that cave, we gotta take out that, um, that red torch. And I kinda don't wanna fight that red torch. But, as Mario would say, here we go! I like how it zooms in on a skull. It's like the game is telling me you're about to die. Oh my god. That is a lot of enemies. Alright, Norris, I kind of need your uh, thunderstorm. Please don't miss. That's... That's some really good shooting. I mean, he actually took one of the enemies out, which is absolutely incredible. Here comes the thunder. I think he just killed them all. He did just kill them all. Norris! I'm a... I'm a fan. So if Chuck Norris was a video game character, apparently he would be this Norris. Because, what was that? Uh... Okay, that's freaky. Okay, there's one of those, um, bone raptors. And there's another one of those bone raptors. And it's chasing me. Wonderful. I think I bit off more than I should chew. I don't know if that sentence made sense. You know what I'm talking about, though. Ah! It's chasing me again! Wait a second. Aren't we just here? This place is really confusing. Um, there's the, um... There's the walls that we can't penetrate. And there's no way to get down from here. You know, I think coming here was a mistake. Because... Until we can break those walls, I don't know what's the point. These walls here. Until we can break these walls, there's really no point in being here. Because we can't really explore the area. Okay, uh, let's try to get out of here. I think we've been everywhere except the Sky Dragon Island. And I know this video is coming up on about a half hour. So why don't we go to the Sky Dragon Island. We'll explore there. And then after exploring there a little bit, we'll um we'll call it a day. I I am I am pleasantly surprised though that Norris was able to knock out those uh those spirits like you did. Oh, we can't. I forgot. Uh, there's one more place we still have to go, and that's the cruise ship. Oh, that's right. All right. We're going to go to Sky Dragon Island, and then we'll go to the cruise ship. Although, I may, um, I may, uh, put off the cruise ship till tomorrow. I said normally I don't like our episodes to go more than 45 minutes on average. Um, and we had a few episodes that was over an hour. So I'm trying to get back to the 30 to 45 minutes per day. But you know, when you play a great game and there's a lot of things happening, you kind of don't want to stop. And it's kind of hard to stop sometimes because the way, um, you know, you, you can't just stop playing if you didn't hit a save point. Because you can't stop playing until you hit a save point. So sometimes when you just got to keep playing, even though it's been a while. Hello there. How are you? Lovely people. We've been wanting not to go near this place, but we came anyway. We adventurers get all fired up when they tell us not to go somewhere. Yep, I know how that is. Oh, look, it's a little uh, thingamajig that likes uh, 
that likes berries. I think he's chasing the butterfly. Wait a second. He is, isn't he? Oh, that's so adorable. The, the tentacle thing is chasing the butterfly. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, that makes me smile. Run, fly, little butterfly, fly. This is the land where the sky dragon resides, but after the dragon disappeared, a gigantic monster moved in. It took away the star fragment I had worked so hard to get. Well, if I wouldn't have had it, the monster would have taken my life instead. Huh. Well, we have a star fragment. So maybe we can fight the giant monster. Perhaps this could be the site of the ancient dragonites. Okay, that's saying a lot. I think we've been here before. This is just like a big open area. Oh, look. It's a uh, quirk. And when I mean quirk, it's uh, the little blue thing from uh, Quest for Glory or the uh, the little blue guys from Hero You Rogue to Redemption. Uh, what is that? I'm sorry. All the dots. What is that? I don't know, but I want to find out. Hello. There's a gigantic monster here. Seems that the monster won't attack you if you don't have a star fragment. Well, we have a star fragment. It's empty. Oh my god! Give me the star fragment! Ah, it's here! What in the world? Giant space alien! What is this? Ah. Uh, Mega star key. Alright, well. He's a white element, so let's lead off with blanks. He's firing a phaser beam at me. What is this? Uh, fail cats. I wasn't expecting to find a giant space alien. Man, that did a lot of damage. Holy cow. Yeah, we don't have a space gun, but we do have regular guns. You know this does a lot of damage. Radiation. Okay. I was about to say that looks really painful, but it actually doesn't look really painful. Welcome to Earth. It's a volcano. Uh, Norse? Good shot. No, I didn't mean to fire again. I want to use a thunderstorm. Oh well. Lynx? He's kind of cute though. I mean, with his little razor gun. A razor gun. Little, uh, uh, beam cannon. Uh, let's go ahead and ice blast. It did not freeze him, unfortunately. Here we go, thunderstorm. This guy's still ticking. He is pretty impressive. Um, hmm. Tech again. Kind of need to heal uh, Norris before he dies. Good shooting, Norris. Just a meteorite? Not a meteorite? Oh, shoot. Of course, he had to hit Norris. Well, that didn't hurt too much. Uh, Razzly, can you cure us, please? Thank you, my little dragon friend. Uh, Norris, why don't you go ahead and sun shower? Good shot. Still ticking, man. Good hit, Slinks. Um, why don't you try Glide Hook? Draggy, you're up. It's 
a good thing that they, that this guy doesn't do a ton of damage. Because if he did, we'd be so dead right now. Magma burst plus two. This is gonna hurt. Oh, we're getting somewhere. Nowhere with Norris though. Uh, Lynx, you're up. Wow. Those are some good shots. Uh-oh. Here comes his own meteor shower. Ow. Yeah, that one actually hurt. Uh, should we turn the favor with another meteor shower or should we just heal up? I think we heal up. Let's not take the chance. And Norris, please don't miss this time. Thank you very much. And why don't you hit him with um, uh, Ice Blast. I think Ice Blast besides Meteor Shower is my favorite level four spell. Draggy decides to miss twice with 72%, of course. There's a recover all. Only 83 points of damage though, that's no big deal. We could take that away in one swing. If we hit. Well, almost. Oh, uh, we're doing damage, but he's still up. Come on, Norris, bring him down. There we go. Good job, team. Norris is very impressive. No power star, though. That's a shame. Mag negate. I think we bought one of those in uh, Goldove. So, the real body of this monster was this small? Oh, he's adorable. Nya, nya, nya. Whoopee! Star Fragment's mine. Catch him with the... Wait, wait a second. Come back here, you little furball. Nya, ha, 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 ha. Come back here. I'm gonna catch you, little quirk. Ah, stop running. You blue marshmallow. I'm gonna cook you over the fire. Come back here. Got him. Starkey shocked. Starkey got caught. You win. Who are you? Stucky come from far away stars. But Stucky's ship fell from the sky. Star fragment is Stucky's ship fragment. The ship turned to fragments after crash. So that is why you are collecting fragments. If we are lucky, your ship might still be intact in the other world. Really? Whoopee! Stucky will come with you. Well, apparently we got a... Uh... Stucky, join your party. Uh, we got a uh, fuzzy blue marshmallow alien with us now. What am I gonna do though? Starkey is a white element with 2114, which makes him weaker than Norse and about on par with Draggy, but I really like Draggy. I really don't want to get rid of Norris because Norris is really, really good with things like Thunderstorm. Norris is an amazing character. He's got more HP, not as much resistances, especially magic, but Norris is stronger, better magic, more HP. Okay, you may say, Bloodless Bird, you just said that Norris is a better character. So why are you bringing along the Blue Marshmallow? The reason I'm bringing along the Blue Marshmallow is because, as I said, when I play RPGs, I like to have fun. And one of the ways I like to have fun is um, by trying different things. So we use Norris and we know Norris is awesome, but do we know if uh, Starkey is awesome? There's only one way to do that and actually to use Starkey. Uh, so that's why I'm gonna use him. Plus, if I'm being honest, because he's a white element, there's a good chance that he won't be in a party with Surge because Surge is a white element. And I probably don't want to duplicate uh, elements. Uh, so I guess 
Starkey will be in our party for just a little while. Before we close up the episode, let's uh, take a look at our blue friend here. Starkey! He's got 11 stamina recovery, which is actually pretty good. Kind of looks like a... Kind of looks like Stitch. Okay, maybe not, but... I still like him. I mean, he's got a similar name to Stitch, right? He's a stray gray, unknown male. His origin is another planet. He's 2 foot 11 inches, 11 pounds. Alien and ambidextrous. When we look at his equipment, he is using a shockwave gun, which I assume is made of mithril. Um, he does not have mithril mail though, so we'll get that fixed right now. Uh, also, we should probably go to Norris and unequip him. Norris is a really good character though, like no, no doubt he's an amazing character. And I think we will probably use Norris in the future. But for now, we have Starkey. We're gonna give him a sight scope. Um, oh, we can equip a star fragment. Protection from the flu, burns, sprains, and poison. That's really good. I'm gonna equip that. It's almost like a ribbon. And why don't I give him a magic ring to help out his mana a little bit. Let's look at his elements. Oh, I forgot. Before we look at his elements, we got to go to Norris and unequip. Unfortunately, he's not gonna have a thunderstorm now. But let's take a look. He's got starlight. Call on Starman Guardian to do special attack MK1. <laughs> oh, that's great. Reminds me of Earthbound. Call on Starman Guardian to do special MK2. Uh, all foes though, so that's good. Let's go ahead and uh, auto allocate Starkey and then we'll fix him up. First thing I always like to do is put Miu Shao at the end. Um, Temporary nullifies foes magic attacks. Okay, well go ahead and equip that. There's nothing wrong with that. Especially since you're white. Uh, white element. Let's go ahead and reorder. And let's see here. Magnet Gate. Uh, we already have that equipped at the, the top one. So let's go ahead and give you Electro Bolt here. And... Um, magma Burst. Here. You know, actually, uh, let me change that. Let me go to uh, Meteor Shower and throw it here. And then let me put Magma Burst here, along with Ice Blast here. Then we can... Hmm. Recover all. Temporary seals black elements. That could be useful. Let's put another recover all here so you have two of those. And then in your second slot, let us let us put another meteorite. Or we can put a photon beam minus one, that'll be okay. And then here I'd rather have another couple of cures. Um, yeah. Cool. Alright, so this is going to be our party moving forward. Uh, we have Starkey and Draggy. Uh, it seems like I like to have weird party combinations, but that's alright. Because they're, it's been a lot of fun to play, and I hope you guys have uh, had a lot of fun watching. Uh, in our next episode, we're going to go ahead and board the cruise ship SSL Bess. And we'll see what's happening there. And then if nothing's happening there, we'll head to Marbule and uh, continue our quest. Uh... Until next time, my friends, thank you so much. I hope you have a wonderful day. So long, and take care. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you would like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. Please be sure to like and subscribe for more. Also, please do not forget, you matter. You are brilliant, and you are loved. And you should always remember to be true to yourself. Don't let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly feathered flightless bird. Till next time.